Hey everybody, it's Jason Janess with the Slash Mini Network, and I'd like to present to you a very awesome item. It was released in December of 2011 originally in Japan, and it was released in the U.S. on January 29th, 2013. I received this a few, a couple of months after release, and I read it. It was a great book. I love it. Uh, the first thing I would like to point out is its build quality. It's a nice hardcover book and it's just about 300 pages long. It's, it's very well built. I love it. It's got a nice spine to it and right behind the spine there's a knitted cloth material that holds the uh, pages together. And the pages themselves, they've got a nice glossy finish, almost like a textbook. It, they got a real nice feel to them. They feel nice and sturdy, especially connect. Oh, my fault. Especially connected to the binding. And this seems like it would last a very long time. Now, I heard that there was a paperback version, but I haven't really seen it. Uh, and they consider this one, the hardcover, a special edition, but as I said before, I've never seen the original paperback. But when this was released, it was released at a price of $34.99 US, but you can find it on at places like Amazon.com for about $21 to $25. And it it's great. I love it. I can't say it enough. It's a great build. And if you notice on the front cover, it's got a nice gold foil that accentuates the whole Zelda series. And now I'd like to show you some uh, insider looks of the book. It's going to have concept art. Uh, the other thing I would like to mention is about a third of the book is pretty much dedicated to the release of Skyward Sword. I like that idea, but I think it takes away a bit of more knowledge that could have been released inside the book. But it is what it is, and it's, it's just Zelda. I love me some Zelda. Now, as I said before, let's take a look at the inside of the book. Here's our inside look at Hyrule Historia. The first thing you're going to want to check out once you open the book is the intro. It's written by Shigeru Miyamoto, and he shares with us where he got his ideas and the conception of the original Zelda game. And he also goes into how he decided upon using Zelda as the princess's name. And then the acknowledgement of the inconsistencies of the timeline of the games themselves. Now the reason why there's con inconsistencies is because the gameplay was developed first and they worked the story around that. Now the next highlighted thing here is the timeline itself. This is where they tell us how and where the games fit in and it does also mention the inconsistencies in the games but when I first got into the series and I didn't realize there was any true connection between them all other than maybe past references I was very pleased that they released this I love it, it it's a great collection and I just love the little stories of the games, they're great. Now the other thing here is the concept art, the creative footprints they call it. It consists of artwork and everything and concepts for enemies, the characters for each game in the series. And how everything evolved. It, it, it's just amazing that we get to see all this. And at the end of the book, it has a manga prequel to Skyward Sword. Now, as I said earlier, this game 
I mean, this game, this book consists of one third of it being dedicated to Skyward Sword. There, there might have been a few missed opportunities by using a lot of this for Skyward Sword, but it's it's great that the U.S. got this. I'm I'm very proud to own this, it, and it's just great. So if you if you can get your hands on it, I highly suggest it. it. It's just beautiful. It's well put together. It's nice and sturdy, nice and strong. And like I said, the spine it it's impeccable. I I love the sturdiness of it. So there you go. There's your inside look. Well. I hope everyone enjoyed taking a look at the inside of Hyrule Historia. I wish I could have shown you more, but like I said, I didn't want to spoil too much. For any fan out there that is only considering this book, I say get it. Every fan out there deserves this book, and they owe it to themselves to get it. It, it makes a great companion to the games, and it's just an awesome read. It's definitely got some uh, reread value to it because when you play the games and you go to read the book you might notice some things that help help uh, tie it all in a bit more tighter. <coughs> and it's it's a great collector's item. It makes a nice coffee table book. Uh, like I said, for any fan out there, definitely do yourself a favor and get this. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed my review, and I give this book a two thumbs up. I Yes, it's great. Get it, get it, get it. All right, everyone, Jason Janess, Slash and Mini Network. Have a good one.